What's up, y'all? This is Rakeem Rivers, a.k.a. Rakeem the Revolutionary. And today I wanted to talk to y'all about the Riverside Alchemist. Um, the Riverside Alchemist is my personal uh, version of community outreach. And I plan on doing a lot of educational um, content, basically, for the people. And a lot of it's going to deal with economics. A lot of it's going to deal with politics. A lot of it's going to deal with uh, different aspects of spirituality and so forth. Um, alchemy itself or alchemist, the way I use it is based off of um, Proverbs twenty-seven seventeen, where it says that uh, as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. Um when I read that, and like I used to be in a Bible study, right? And it was called the Iron Man Bible study. And that was the foundational verse of it. Um, and what we used to do is we'd come together, we'd pray, and then we'd like read the Bible um, chapter by chapter. And we do it out loud, like it'd be like at first it was it wasn't that big. It was only like four or five of us um, who used to go. I was incarcerated at the time. Um, and like one person would read the chapter and then we'd discuss it. Do you know what I mean? And then we'd go to the next chapter and we'd discuss it. Um, and it was dope. Like, I believe it was excellent. Like one of the things few people who uh, take the time to actually research um, the stuff they believe in. You know what I mean? Like that was my first time actually like reading the Bible chapter by chapter. Um, was during that Bible study, but like in terms of the Iron Man part, right? The as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. Um, that led me to wondering, like, what does like a man look like when he's sharpened? You know, and people who know like what alchemy is, there's like two versions of it. There's a uh, one where it's potions and whatnot. Um, and then there's the other one where you try to uh, turn base metals into gold um, is a form of alchemy. And that's kind of how the Iron Man verse translated uh, to me. You know what I mean? Like I always looked at uh, the sculptures from ancient Egypt, like um, Tutankhamun and so forth, like the pharaohs and all of that, where they were like solid gold staring at you. Um, ever since I was little, like I always loved them. Like those is dope. Like that was the first thing like in history that I felt like I identified with. You know what I mean? Um, and so that's where the alchemy part comes from. Uh, the Riverside is, is basically the common ground for all of humanity to build upon. You know, like a Riverside is defined as the ground along a river bank. Um, and it's basically like what I see as the common ground uh, for humanity because like we all need water to survive, to sustain ourselves, you know what I mean? To cleanse ourselves and so forth. Like, water is an integral part of us and our environment, like the world itself. Um, plants need water to grow and so forth. And so that's, that's like the story behind the Riverside Alchemist. That's the, the conceptual aspect of it. Um, in actuality, what I'm going to be doing is podcast. Um, I'm going to be doing um, audio books. Like, I want to get a lot of our ancestors' work. Like um, Dr. Ben, you know what I mean? Or Dr. Claude Anderson um, and so forth. Like we got so many ancestors, Ida B. Wells, uh, who like were authors who wrote and like their material is, is still accessible, but not too many people know about it. Not too many people even take the time to read books anymore. Um, and so one of the things I want to do is I want to start commissioning uh to create audiobooks from from the works of our ancestors and make them free for the community, make them free for the people. Uh, so that's one aspect of the Riverside Alchemist. The other one is like myself, like I'm an author, I'm a poet, uh, I'm a community organizer, and I have a lot of ideas and initiatives that I intend to to manifest. 
um, in this world. And I'm going to be doing it through the Riverside Alchemist. Uh, I've, I've considered and I've tried uh, doing the Patreon um, or the GoFundMe route and so forth. And like they don't really... I don't know, like like there's fees and all this other stuff, like they take extra money out and so forth. So I just plan on doing it and I'm going to just put the work out as much as I can. And uh, anyone who wants to support me, um, support my work or support the Riverside Alchemist, uh, basically could just send it to my cash app, which is uh, V7207027. Um that's like my tag. So if you like the dollar sign with the letter V and then the actual numbers 7207027. Um, yeah, and just send it there. Or you could like, I plan on creating products uh, that I'm a list on the website that correlate to different uh, community initiatives. If you want to support a specific thing, like one of the things I want to do is I want to go into like the high schools and the middle schools in the hood and do like a cookout. You know what I mean? Like partner with local food trucks or restaurants or whatever um, and get like local artists to come out and perform and just like throw a party uh, for the kids, bro, and, and let them know like we love them, we care about them, we here for them, we gonna do everything we can to to make sure that they inherit a better world than the one we created. You know what I mean? Um, another initiative I have is I want to like create a um, a way to communicate with inmates to where we could send them different books. Um, different types of literature, uh, different types of resources and so forth that will help them a better themselves and be better their situation. Like uh, me personally, I've been locked up. And one of the biggest things uh, people used to talk about when I was in jail was reconsiderations. You know what I mean? Like trying to get your paperwork together to where you could file for a reconsideration and try and get your sentence reduced. But there was very little support or resources uh to do that like only person i know who ever did it was the preacher's son and he like it is crazy because he got a court date and they set him free from the court date but he is a preacher's son like it, it was crazy um and he had connections like that and i'm trying to get it to where more of our people have connections like that um because right now like jail really doesn't do anything uh to support the people that like a it, it doesn't help the communities because they just use jail as a as a revenue stream you know what i mean like the state gets paid for people in prison and then there's like privatized prison which is basically a modern version of slavery you know what i mean and inside of prison there's no real um what's the word i'm looking for there's no real like uh psychological help there's no real like like they're not trying like they call it the departments of correction but they're not actually trying to correct people's thinking or behavior or anything they just trying to get them off the streets lock them up um and use them for for like work or whatever they could get out of them you know what i mean with like restitution and so forth like our justice system is corrupt as hell um, especially in that aspect. So I feel like the more we could actually help those people, the more resources we could give them to where like they could get out and fly straight like I did, um, the better off our community would be, the better off the world would be um, in and of itself. And if you add that on to like the outreach with the youth, you know what I mean? Um, it would be a, a better way to prevent are you from going to prison? Because you know there's a school to prison pipeline right now because the schools don't really teach kids what they need to know. Um, they just babysit them until they mess up bad enough to get locked up. You know what I mean? And then the judge throws the book at them. And then when they get out, they're ex felons so they can't get a job. They can't live in certain places. Um, they basically try and destroy your life. Um, and it's, it's systematically set up that way. And I feel like the way we fight that is by banding together, um, pooling our resources, educating each other. You know, the same, the, the iron, 
you know, steel sharpens steel, iron sharpens iron. You know, we just turn our communities into the resources we need. You know, we become our own solution. Um, and so that's basically what, what the whole philosophy behind uh, the Riverside Alchemist is and the work I'm going to be doing and any support you guys could offer would be highly appreciated. Um, I'm going to need volunteers as well. I'm going to need sponsors, all of that. So if you believe in us like I do, then subscribe for sure and um, support and like show up when we have calls to action, you know what I mean? Like I don't really dig the whole protesting thing anymore. I've done that. And it's kind of like it, it only gets you so far. Like protests are to raise awareness to an extent, but if you don't add something onto it, like if you're not doing petitions at the protest to change the laws or or to um punish the people responsible for whatever you're protesting, then it's kind of like you're just making a lot of noise and nothing's changing. So I don't really dig that. Like we have call to actions. I want it to be like some legal stuff, like where we taking people to court, you know what I mean? Like these corrupt uh, police jurisdictions and so forth, where we can hold them accountable. You know what I mean? And to do that, though, we also need people to show up. Like, it can't just be me out there. It can't just be one or two or three people um, in the community that's really trying to hold us down. Like, we have to band together and uh, really fight for ourselves, for our futures, for our children, um, for humanity. You know what I mean? Like, liberty and justice for all is, is something I believe we can make a reality. But it's something that we have to put the work in to do. And that's what the Riverside Alchemist is all about, is it's putting the work in to actually create that, you know, coming together and, and building the society that we believe in rather than the one that we've been given. All right. This is uh, Rakeem Rivers and I'll holla at y'all.